Order. Welcome back to the Cast Patrol podcast. We're joined by myself, Jimmy, and Age. How are you, boys? Long time no see. I know, Mick. You've been in New Zealand, dog the boys, but it's good to have you back finally. It's been a while. I've landed back today. First thing we do, podcast. I'm there for the patrollers. I'm there for you two. You're committed. I heard you actually shortened the trip just to be here. I cancelled the trip to come back and record. Beautiful. So how was it, Mick? Did you get up to much? <laughs> it was a good trip. We went North Island. It was one of those Beautiful. things where people were like, oh, you're going to New Zealand? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, South Island's amazing. I'm like, oh, I'm actually going North Island. And they're like, yeah. oh, yeah. It's, it's good too. Yeah, it it's goes good all right. <laughs> it was all right, to be fair. Six boys driving around in a van, went nice. up and down, Auckland, Rotorua, everywhere in between, Waiheke Island. So really good and proper boys trip, just relaxed the what whole time. What was the time. best place? Best place? You know what? Hobbit Town was actually all right. Hobbit Town. Hobbit yeah, Town. The, the Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. The Lord of the Rings set. Yeah, that yeah. was okay. That was pretty decent. Did you see Schmeagel or Gollum? In Lord of the Rings, oh, there? No, no, I didn't. Not yet. You might hear from him later. <laughs> There's a little bit of insight into what's coming on later. We, we have a, a massive, segment. massive episode. Yep. New segment, Cast Calls. Cast and I'll tell you, I've had to listen to the calls. They're fucking so cast. They're cast. There was some no, that they have too, to be cast. There was some that were too cast I couldn't even put through. Yeah, right. <laughs> you had to give him the veto. I had to give him the no run. No run. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Uh, but yeah, we got playing on penalties, dabble wins and losses. But first, let's just go through everything that we missed. It's been a massive it's... two weeks. First yeah. of all, We'll start off the bat. Happy birthday, H. Well Happy done. Birthday Thank you. To the great man. Mick dogged my birthday. He wasn't here for it, but yeah, it's did. all right. I'll forgive him. You did dog it. But did you like the video? The video. The video was so good. I was cracking <laughs> I up. I love that video. Happy birthday, H. Yeah. Happy <laughs> birthday, H. <laughs> Hashtag cast. Did you love it? <laughs> mwah, mwah. And just yeah. kissing your Were you fight, expecting that at all? No. I was like, what are they going to put together like a montage of me doing something on the potty? Nah. But no, nah. that was good. I, was I, I sent to the gym and I was like, Boy, we have to get this. Yeah, like, yeah. bro, get it, get it locked in. I don't want to even know how much it was. No, and we put the picture on <laughs> with the dolphin. With That's the dolphin. most iconic <laughs> character. The guy was kissing it. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, <laughs> I watched it too many times. And it's the song's so good funny. as well. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. What was the song in the um, background? I couldn't. Um, it, it, it's that time. It's it's that time. It's this new f- boiler room song going around. Yeah. So they just oh, they yeah. just it's get money to just shout out people. Yeah. But you can actually pick between different African dances. You chose your dances? I chose the love one. <laughs> oh, was that the love <laughs> one? That's why they were kissing. Yeah, that anyway, was if you so haven't good. seen that, go on the cast pro at the Fuck, cast they must be Instagram. making a killing. Oh, yeah. a killing. Making massive money <laughs> just from <laughs> doing videos. <laughs> mwah, mwah. Yeah. So where do we start? Do we go through? The, well, we in, start in, with the like the, what, the furthest away. The furthest away, yeah. Well, we had, first of all, two, two weeks ago now, Bloody Brilliant Beers join us. Correct, yeah. In yep. the studio. Good lads. That was good to meet them person. Great lads. I'm great wearing boys. the Klutzy World's Australia's Most Ordinary Rig T-shirt. The great yes. man. Sold yep. out. The great man Klutzy came in the studio. He didn't get on the podium for the World's Most Ordinary Rig, not. but you know he tried hard. He still was his Most Ordinary Rig. He is. So well done. Check that one out. We also had Preston and Edwards on the podcast. Yep. Bulldogs rookies. That Guns. was a good episode. That was very good. Yeah. Yeah. Especially having like Edwards as well as Preston, like both yeah. of them just hearing differing perspectives. Yeah. yeah. But from what I hear, they're both two hardworking, genuine, young and up and comers. They just put their head down yeah. and just have They a train track. hard, play hard. And all the one percenters, when I was looking mm. for Edwards' highlights, to be fair, there wasn't many. But right. when I started watching his games, yeah. the amount of times he saved tries mm. from just working hard, chasing down, like yeah. he's one to watch. Which is what you want, right? Yeah, it's what you want if you're a coach. And yeah, exactly. Definitely like Preston, playing Preston, hard working, try scoring. Yeah. Edwards got that one try we got. Yeah. But also like the defensive, it's like you said. Yeah, Edwards in defense was really He good. was only playing 50 minutes and making around 30 tackles on average Solid, a game. Yeah. So it's a lot. It's a lot of tackles yeah. through the middle. And he has a motor on him as well. Oh, PPMBs. That's, that's what Preston was saying. Like this guy doesn't feel the fitness or cardio training. He's like, yeah, yeah. You know what's scary? Like- they were younger than us. Yeah. Yeah, you don't was, think of that, eh? Like, think... I just turned 24 and these guys are like 22. Yeah. Oh, like, you just sitting there like, oh, you're younger than me. And they're so much bigger as well. That's it. <laughs> Big yeah. boys. Our yeah. careers are dumb boys. That's it. That's it. We cancel, pack it up. Cancel the pod. Well, we were going to cancel the pod, weren't we? We're close. After the Melbourne Cup. Not good. <laughs> the Melbourne Cup. Well, to be fair, right. we weren't the worst. Like our insight was actually correct. Yeah. But just our tips and roughies yeah. weren't. You should have stuck to your last year's tip, Mick. Without a fight, I told you. Are you going to stay with it? And you just. You went away I from it. I couldn't go out and do without a fight twice. Yeah. And then it got rolled twice. I just, it would have killed me. I know. It's a great thing, hindsight, isn't it? Yeah, no, a great thing. It is. But won the Caulfield Cup. Surely it was a bit of you to. Why didn't you tip it? Huh? Because I was without a win as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Mark Zara, back to back Melbourne Cup. Yeah. Good race. If you good don't race, mind. though. Fucking yeah. good ride. Great ride from Zara. From 16, hit the fence somehow. 
Hit the fence. Peeled out perfectly. and yeah. Solcum yeah. huge run for second. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, less said about the ride, the better, I think, about Solcum. Yeah. Well, we said about it. If it misses the start, like confetti. Well, what yeah, it will miss the start. Miss the start. Yeah. That was it. the start by three lengths. And, and Marrera, Marrera, he sort of made the wrong call to not follow without a fight. But yeah. Do you reckon hey. it could have beat without a fight? It would have got close. I reckon it would have got him. close, but I don't know if it would beat. No, would have beaten him. I think without a fight, would have probably won, but you don't know. Without a really. fight, had a bit on them. Yeah. Like yeah. that was a fucking dominant oh, win. Dominant cup win. Yeah. Melbourne, Melbourne Cup day. I was actually out. You already obviously know the story, but I'll tell the listeners. Yeah. Had a big day on the Tuesday last week. Obviously, I was doing what we tell the followers every week to do: sign up to dabble, yeah. go on the profile, look at the tips because. I was under the influence. I'm having a few bets and I'm, I, yeah. I can't really do that much form, yeah. especially because they weren't even showing Randwick where we were sitting. It was just yeah, Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is a killer. I go on Ram, I go on Dabble. I see Jimmy's put one up. Attract, is it tractable? Attractable, yeah. Each way. I'm In like, the big dance. And I was on I was on the cash back that you could get yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll put 30 on it. Oh my God, wins. What I'm odds? Like, $20. Yeah. 20 bucks. So 20 it, set, it set up the night. That was Far it. Yeah. And then when I went to um, bet... I found a voucher for a betting <laughs> betting agent we can't name on the floor. Yeah. And I was like, well, I have to use it on that app. So I used it on Jimmy's tip at Morfittville. Lady Simone. Turned it into 150. Yeah. So far out. That's it was your, a good that's day out. Day. Yeah. Jimmy's getting yeah. a call at like 9, 9 p.m. Oh, Jimmy, mate. bruh, you said <laughs> The most <laughs> Probably pay for your New Zealand trip as well. Oh, pay for a bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And what other, else? other horses? Our horse race? Yes. Yeah. Gorilla, gorilla. Our fucking horse. Was it a gorilla? Was it a donkey? What would you know, say? It was a tough run. What, what did you think, Jimmy, about the horse? I thought, it was a, I thought it was a good run. Look, I think he jumped probably a little bit better than what the jockey anticipated. And then, unfortunately, he just couldn't get in. Got caught three wide. Exposed at the turn. Being a young horse, obviously he wanted to find the rails. Very so green. Very green at the straight. Head was the other way. Great run, though. You know, yeah. it's, it was promising signs. Niche will, you know... Yeah. Um, Educate him, and it just could not get cover from the hundred to like the six hundred meter, and just yeah, yeah, burnt too much. But yeah. we were on the trip, watch, obviously watching in New Zealand, and they were like, oh, like they were a bit deflated. I'm like, boys, like if we didn't have money on the horse to win, seconds a huge yeah. run. If it wasn't yeah, a yeah. two dollar favorite, you'd I know. be very it was backed happy. off the map as before, well. yeah. before the race. It, it got into two bucks flat. I was yeah, like, this yeah. is incredible. But yeah, it, like at least it came second with excuses. Yeah, yeah. Like imagine, genuine excuses. Imagine it came like seventh, and we all sat and like, well, yeah, yeah. we got a like it was barrier ten. You know, we draw more in and have more distance. Mm. Yeah. Could win a race. Probably yeah. will win a race. Gear soon. changes. Mm. Yeah, and shout yeah. out to Pulse Racing Thoroughbreds on that day. They had a fucking two, day out. Two first and a second. Of course, the one. That yeah, of course, our ours. horse came second. And it was the hey, flattest odds. They had a yeah. field day. Both other ones were like four eighty or something. Yeah, field yeah. Maddie, Magic and JX. JX yeah. led the whole way. So yeah, if you're looking to buy into a horse, Pulse Racing Thoroughbreds, they're the goats. Shout have you out. spoken to Cameron yet? Uh, yeah, he have a massive day. He's stoked, mate. The amount of times he's came in his undies on the weekend was <laughs> hey, fucking, crazy. Carlo texted me when we were out on Saturday night. Was it midnight. Yeah, was like, it was like midnight and we get a text. What did you think of the run? Yeah, Carlo's <laughs> texted me. Midnight. Yeah, it was random. Like, give it up, And what did you say? Give it up. I just, I didn't reply until like the next day, I think. Yeah, right. So, speaking oh. of uh, dominance, Oztag. Massive Ooh. dominance. That was huge. Yeah. So The boys are back. So, yeah. The boys are back. Dirty dozen. Seven. Seven one. Yep. I Seven one, you just ruined oh, it. Oh, sorry. Oh, were you the do... disciples. Oh, okay, yeah. One. Yeah. We dominated these guys. Sent them back to Jerusalem. <laughs> Literally back to Nazareth. Right? The disciples <laughs> gone. Mate, they had no answers. Yeah, but I have an answer, Jim. Could you put it down to something? Oh, honestly, like we defended very well. We did. But if you think about it, there like was one missing really, link. If you really, think really about think it, about it, yeah, there was one missing link that wasn't there. Yeah. It was Mick. <laughs> <laughs> It was. I yeah. think the scoots, they're not effective in Oztag. I yeah. haven't seen a win yet this year. <laughs> I've played three games and draw two losses and you guys win 7-1. I know. Yeah. Do you put it down to yourself? No, nah, I feel like if I was there, we would have probably won by more. Oh, oh mate. I don't know. It like, was a, no, I but it was, was very was gutsy. Like the most dominant win in dozen history. Well, the funny thing is they scored the first try, 1-0, yeah. and then we went seven straight. Seven's yeah. good. And like our defense was fucked. Like they were getting so like, frustrated. You missed nothing through the middle? They like, missed nah, nothing. nothing. And like all the last one, like diving saves yeah. everyone got. Like, yeah. It was, That's it was fucking good. Hey, you yeah. needed a win. We needed Early a win. Early kick off the back. The boys are very cocky now. Hopefully not too cocky. Boys are chirping. Mate, they're, they're being chirping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then I tell you what made us get real quiet. That Saturday, Jim. Oh, Saturday man. on the punt. 
Not the, good. Double bro. live stream. Double live stream. That was good. We had good fun. And then after that, we couldn't hit a winner. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've run more seconds in my life than that. Like photo finishes. Photo finishes. Not just seconds. Every photo finish went against me. Because I was looking on Dabble and I was like, oh, no. It the highlights bad. had not going up. Yeah, no, it was bad. Too many fucking seconds, but yeah. But like there was bad ones like Adriel at Doombin, like oh. $2.60 fave. And this thing like it's neck and neck with a horse. It hits the front. It's, and then it's the one. horse with like 10 minutes to go just comes back oh. and gets the bob. And you're just sitting there like this yeah. can't keep happening. And it kept happening. Worilla Gorilla. Second. Yeah, second. Gorilla. Yeah, second. that topped it off. Yeah, Jimmy gorilla. had Atmosphere. Second. Then and you had Jopin, what Osmo, was the pink one at Morphville? And Jopin. Yeah, another second Again, so photo. Hit in front. And Osmos is the worst. Couldn't get oh, past that the leader. that was bad. How did it not cross that leader? I don't know. Anyway, like sickening. A, oh, yeah, we sickening. can go on all day. We could go on all day. finishes, but that was sickening. Yeah. And, and then, we went out? Yeah, we went out to drown our sorrows, have a bit of fun. Yeah. Went to Goro's. Very wholesome. Goro's is a very good place. Yeah. It was pumping. A few hens nights going around. Yeah, three hens nights. In one night. Always, yeah. every time we go to Goro's, there's always hens. Random. So, if, yeah, if you're looking for a hens, Goro's. Yeah, go to Goro's. Or if you're looking to find some hens chicks, go to Goro's. <laughs> if that's what you're into. That's yeah. what you want, eh? Hey, hey, we don't discriminate here. I have to interrupt. I have the most car story. Right? Okay, yeah, go, go. So, we're at the New Zealand airport. We're flying back to Sydney. Yeah. And I'm, we're waiting in the line. and We're going through the scanners. And Corey, my mate, goes, Oi, bro, Mick, look, it's Ignatius Parsi. I go, I go the oh. ex Titans player, yeah, ex Titans, <laughs> yeah, and plays yeah, yeah. like Wigan or something, Warrington, one Saint of those, Helens or something, Saint Helens, like one of those yeah. red yeah, and white yeah. teams. Anyway, and I go, fuck, you're right, it is because I looked at him before. And I was like, I've seen this guy before. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'll go say hello or something after we get our bags. So I'm not too. I'm like, Ignatius Parsi, I've, I've watched you. Like you were a gun back there. He goes, oh, no, I'm not Ignatius. I go, oh, like <laughs> the wrong person. He goes, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm his twin brother. I go. Nah, it's a good joke. <laughs> he goes, no, nah, I'm genuinely his twin brother. And I looked it up. Ignatius Parsi has a twin brother. What was his name? Uh, Sonny? Sonny, I think. Sonny, 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 Sonny Parsi. I was like, oh my. Like, <laughs> That's like so dead weird. said, like exactly the same. Ignatius Parsi, like what are the chances that uh, he gets remembered first of all? He hasn't played the NRL in years. Yeah. And he's got a twin brother. And he's got a brother, yeah. That's yeah. saying. And then I see Isaiah Papali'i and I was like, surely he doesn't have a twin brother. <laughs> and that was him? And it was actually it was him. him. Yeah, okay. He was on your plane, eh? He was on the plane, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we ran into Rando Saturday night. Yeah, random stats guy oh, came yeah. up Shout to us at Goro. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good that he popped Fuck, in. Long way from him. Had a good chat him. to him. Where's he live? He's at Manly, Manly Way, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Northern Beecher. Yeah. yeah. So he was a long way from so, home. Yeah, even Rando's at Goro's. It's a place to be. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday uh, night. That's where you'll find so us. That was Saturday. Yeah. And then Sunday, did you boys get up too much? Or Mick was in New Zealand. Yeah, was you were like, at my house. Did you boys watch the UFC? No. No, I saw oh, the highlights. Oh, though. my God. The two fought main fights were unreal. They both ended within two minutes. Right. The heavyweights. like it Aspinall was the champ now. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, what yeah, were we doing? Nah, we we, we were hung over. We, we yeah. literally woke up and we're on the lounge doing fuck all for like three hours. And we put Maxwell's highlights. Then we went on YouTube. <laughs> See him cramping up like a salmon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like mid mid yeah. um, innings. He just couldn't move his legs. But he was, and he was slogging for six. He just we were, wasn't moving his feet. Just we were just laughing our heads off. Like we couldn't believe how remarkable it was. <laughs> yeah. That was insane. And then, yeah, Aussie take on South Africa now in the yeah. semi finals. Thursday. World yeah. Cup. And then India, New Zealand, I think tonight or tomorrow. Fuck, do you reckon Aussies can get through? We need to bat first. That's it. We bat first, we win. Yeah, because if South Africa bat first, I think Quinton de Kock, when batting first, he averages like 100. Yeah, really? Like yeah. Batting first. Batting first. So we've got to bat first. I do a scenario, New Zealand beat India, we beat South Africa. Mate, if New Zealand beat India somehow, that'd be... At home Well, as they well. got the beast, India home. Warindra. Yeah, Ravindra's a gun. So what's, Indian, what's his right? first name? I don't know his first so name. So if you get me his first name, I have a story about it. Go, you search it up while I'll tell you what I did on Sunday. Okay. Yeah, go. All right, so it was six years with me and my miso. Beautiful. Which is also on my birthday. Yeah. So we celebrated the day before, went to Six Head. Yep. Got the tomahawk again. Fucking tomahawk steaks. Yeah, go. Insane. Fucking got all the entrees, cocktails. Scallop? No, didn't get scallop. Got the exo prawns. Um. Oh, I was fucking mad. Yeah, go to six head. Yeah. But you don't have to get the tomahawk if you don't want to splurge. Because <laughs> it ended up being like over 400 bucks and I was just sitting there like, fuck. Like, it was great, but is that worth it? Yeah, yeah. Only for special what was it? Was it better than um when we went with the boys? The, it was, the steak was like oh, obviously okay, the yeah. same, but yeah. the entrees were better because we didn't get the set menu. Yeah. Okay. Right. And I got that same blue cocktail. That was a fucking the gun. The blue point po- cocktail. Blue point. Fucking so good. Weapon. So back to Ravindra. Ravindra? Ravindra, yeah. yeah. So... 
there's an Indian boy on the trip, Ibrahim, he loves the cricket and mm. uh, we're talking about him. And he, I go, oh, like I've never heard of his first name before, Rachin. He yeah. goes, yeah, it doesn't exist. His parents made it up. I go, what do you mean his parents made it up? And he goes, so basically it comes from two first names combined. So it came from Rahul Dravid and Sachin Tanduka. So they've gone Ra and Chin, Rachin. Because they're just <laughs> mad cricket heads. Mad cricket heads. And they moved to New Zealand, obviously. Yes, yeah, stuff. They named you after two cricketers. Yeah, so it's like if you loved Latrell and like... I don't know. Trell and Shaq. Trashak. Yeah, Trell, like that. <laughs> oh, and that's your own. name. Like, it's not a real name. Tre- Shaqwell. <laughs> yeah. That is his He's a name. weapon though. He's good. Yeah. So yeah, he's, he's very a good. gun. So the more you know. Well, there, there you go. go. And then I know you're sick of my birthday, but I'll just quickly sum it up. Yeah. On my birthday, I went to Bob Hawks Brewery. Have you guys been there? Bob yeah, Hawks good. Brewery. Very good place. And it has that lucky prawn Chinese yeah. restaurant there as well. I don't know what Fucking great looking Shh. joint. Marrickville. Um, Okay. Shout yeah, out I to, reckon we should go. Shout out to Facebook, who for some reason, because Adrian and I are both logged into Cast Patrol, put his date of birth on my account and linked our Facebook stories up. What was oh, when so, he so posted on, on Sunday, he, well, when he was at the date night with Sophia, he put it up, oh, happy happy six years, I love and you he, so much. And it was on my story. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, surely someone's photoshopped this. That's why I was like, wait. <laughs> it went what? on yours. Yeah, and then on his birthday yesterday, people were wishing me happy birthday. Fuck yeah. off. Happy birthday, Mick. And I'm like, what is going on now? Fun. And we have to like do all this stuff and like close all our. So now my birthday's and... fucked on Facebook. It's his one. <laughs> yeah, so we're not we're not actually twins. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, double wins of the week. Jimmy, yeah. take us through all, right. all the wins. That was a big catch up, boys. Yeah, it was a big catch up. Well, was two weeks. Up. I'm hoping the people enjoyed that listening to just us not yeah. seeing each other for two yeah, weeks. Yeah, not talking about NRL. <laughs> <for once. laughs> Fucking yep. Yeah. All right, so double wins and losses of the week. So we will start off the York double on Sunday. Tony's spirit in the cup into divine judgment. Last two races, $21 odds, 11 copies. Nice end to the weekend. That's a huge end. Oh, nice. Sunday, yeah? That was on Sunday. Sunday night. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love that. We had Zardozzi in the Oaks. We obviously tipped Zardozzi to win the Oaks and we got the standout trifecta with Athelfled and Baselina that paying $75. Very... Ooh, that was a very impressive win by Zardozzi. Very good win. Maybe one of the wins of the Spring Carnival. Very good filly. Or the Melbourne Cup. Very, Carnival. very good filly. 25 copies. Of course, we touched on it. Attractable in the big dance. Huge. At 18 to 1. Thank you very much. And then, of course, the one leg loss as well. They keep filtering oh, through. They just keep rolling through, don't they? Cup day on Tuesday. We had the five legs on Flemington Cup day. Uh, Aztec State was the one that who, lost. Who did it get rolled to? Because my memory I, fades me. I could not what tell. What track you. was it? It was at Flemington. It was all, it was all Flemington. Okay, right, right. And um, yeah, $29 rods, 82 copies. So mm, one leg. That's unlucky. And then we, oh, thought, no. we thought, we'll go again on Wednesday. Best bets, three legs, last leg lost. Oh, the last is the worst as well. Bear 12, in mind, 45 copies. 45 copies. And then we're like, all right, we'll try again. Wednesday night at Happy Valley, four legs. Medica Elite lost, one oh. leg. 17 to one, 34 copies. And then we're like, we'll try again on Friday. <laughs> Friday best bet, four legs. Raven, the shortest odds, loss, 10.96, 36 copies. And then on Sunday, the York multi, one leg, spread the rumor loss, 67 copies. So hear me out, Jim. Jesus. They're all four legs. Did we just go to a three leg? Well, multi? there was a three one in there. Oh, so I tried, I tried to matter. go three on Wednesday okay. yeah. and still one loss. So it's, it's, it's the it's one leg curse. curse. It's inevitable. So I don't know what I've done if I've walked, I don't know, underneath or between two fucking poles or something. Or walked under a ladder. You've done something, mm. Jim, because I have. We've got to reverse this curse somehow. We do. No, we do. So, um, but shout out to Double for putting yeah. all our bets up with descriptions. Two Irish girls at my work signed up to dabble on the day of Melbourne Cup. Yep. Had no idea about the Melbourne Cup. Bear yep. in mind, we spent hours doing the form. We did a podcast on it, made content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jess at work copied someone's tip without a fight and she was cheering. Yeah, like you don't have to just yeah. copy She didn't us. even know. Yeah. The best thing is there's so many tipsters and you can literally just see, oh, this, there's seven people tipping that, yeah. three doing that. I'm going to go with what everyone's tipping, you know? And, you can follow a group. And we say it all the time. Jimmy puts up his horse tips that come up sporadically throughout the day because Jimmy's betting there. They yeah. don't, he doesn't do it, put them at the start of the day. They're just there yeah, as you, you see as the track plays. You've got to see the exactly. flights. It's, it's, it's as late mail as, into, as pure as you yeah. can get. Like Jim's mouth. jam. No, it's good. Jim, <laughs> literally Jim's jam. So if you want to sign uh, up to Double, where can they download the app and find our profile? So we'll put the link in the bio so it's easier for everyone, but yep. you can download the app on the App Store, Dabble, and when you sign up, use the code Cast Patrol. That's C-S-T-P-A-T-R-O-L. And why would you sign up to Double Gym? Well, mate, it's the greatest betting app on earth. Why? 
Copy they got bear. banter channels, banter live channels. streams on Saturdays. We yep. alternate every second Saturday. Copy late, late mail form and get yep. amongst the action in the banter channels. 100%. There's heaps of good tips. There's Thomas Brazel, WA, Rory Flanagan. You've got ourselves, Gorilla Bets. Mate, it's, too many. it's a place to be. You can copy whoever you want. It is. But the best thing about Dabble is the community. There's no other betting app yep. with that type of community, you know? So get on Dabble, join the community. And of course, the best bet is set a deposit limit. Correct. And, and gamble responsibly. Just a reminder, what are you really gambling with for free and confidential support? Call 1-800-858-858 or visit the website gamblinghelponline.org.au. So we're wrapping up to the end of the show, but we have two massive segments. Yeah. Play on penalty, staple as staple. always. OG. It and is. the new segment, we're going to try something. We've got Cast Course. So basically we've got an app. Uh, it's a link yep. on our story. You've probably seen it throughout the week. Speak yep. pipe. People can record a voice uh, message in and we play it. We'll react to it. So yep. essentially it's like submitting a listener question or play it on, is. but you can go into more depth. There's no yeah. character count. It's your own voice. Yeah. It could be a yarn. It can be yeah. a story. Yeah. It can be you screaming something, abusing us, praising Whatever us. Whatever you want. Anything that's it just cast. has to be cast. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be cast. What's called cast and, calls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and available to play online. Obviously, don't yes. say anything illegal. Don't say any racist. Don't abuse yeah. anyone. Yeah, there was a Mate, few suspect ones that suspect we had to leave one. out. But yes, <laughs> keep in mind. Keep to be sending them in. User though. friendly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's jump into play on penalties, Jim. Your yeah. favorite segment. Kick My us off. My favorite segment. Play on a penalty. First one for this week at Cody Retta. Pouring the can into a glass, play on or penalty? I so think he's saying play on. you've yeah. got a can and then you pour it into a glass. You pour it in. I glass think glass with ice goes very well. Mm. Yeah. Straight out of the can, man. Yeah, straight out of the can. Well, why would you fucking waste the glass for? Maybe just ice. I can see the ice part. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Like you want yeah. a colder drink. Yeah, definitely. If There's ice, yeah. It's play definitely on. not a penalty. Nah. It's been worse. It's, it's been, been worse. Yeah, it has been play worse. on, play on. All right. Next one at Josiah Ouchin. Sending feet pics for money. We actually had this discussion over the weekend and we were like, if you can earn a good living of setting your feet, sure, go ahead. Go but nuts. No one's buying my feet. I'll tell you what do you think free. your feet would be worth? One pick. <sighs> like like my own feet? Your like, own feet. Like, like what I, are you pricing them at? I can, I can them spread at? them out like that. You're looking at them. They're like got gaps in them. <laughs> what are you pricing it at? That, probably 20 bucks. 20 bucks, Jim? What are your feet worth? G- nah, gyms are fucked. They go for three bucks on eBay. Fuck, yeah, right probably. now, I don't know if you can see, but my, na- just my really... nails are so oh, long. It look like Rise of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> Suza is home. Suza. Mine are just strong. fucking long and lanky. <laughs> yeah, for my Caesars, I reckon, fuck, how much is a movie? I'm going to say 15 dollars <laughs> mate. But yeah, if you're fucking, yeah, if you if you making good money from it. Yeah. Josiah, if you have some nice feet and you're selling them for money, that's a massive that's a yeah. Six yeah, well, again. Honestly, on. six again. If you can yeah. sell for money, yeah. yeah. Yep. 100%. Love it. Next one at Cooper Reeves 2. Getting barbecue sauce at Macca's with your nuggets. Fuck. Nah, sorry. Not that's a, a fan. fucking penalty. Not yeah. a fan. Like, it's sweet and sour. If you're not getting either sweet and sour, aioli. What are you doing? Big or Mac, Ma- or Big Big Mac, Mac sauce? Big, Mac, Big Mac's in there. That's all right. Those three. Yeah. Is fine. Yeah. If, Anything bar- else, if you only get barbecue, like life suspension. Yeah. yeah, even Only that fucking barbecue? little ketchup fucking sachet. Oh, they're, they're no, they're so fuck shit. Off. Yeah, but if you're like, if you're getting one of each, like mm. one sweet and sour, aioli, barbecue, play on. Apparently, but if you're the, getting the fucking the barbecue chicken only, one's good. McChicken yeah, I've heard sauce. good things about McChicken. I haven't tried it yet. Someone recommended it that we spoke yeah, to. Yeah, I have heard. I think we've had it. It's decent. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. You Solid. fast food connoisseurs would have loved it. Oh, yeah. We had we've um, been all over Wendy's in New Zealand. Ooh. Very Play on? No, nah, shit out. Shit. Really? I got a Baconator. It was not great. Oh, Baconator. Like the bread bad. was like, to describe it, it wasn't like the soft bun. It was like an Egg McMuffin bun. Fucking hell. I was like, what? it's like that dry, like weird stuff. It, it wasn't good for a burger. Anyway. Yeah. For a penalty, burger as well. Penalty yeah, to that's, Wendy's. That's it didn't hit. Sorry, Wendy's. Rip Wendy's. <laughs> Next one, at Lachlan.Hewitt03. Ordering a cinnamon donut with the cinnamon. <laughs> Does he mean without the cinnamon? <laughs> I don't know if Lachlan meant without the cinnamon. I think he meant without. So just a donut. So just a fucking plain donut? Yeah, that's a penalty. <laughs> like, I think it's a... Wait, Lachlan... Is it not that. a play on for both? You're either getting a donut or you're getting a cinnamon donut? Is that the scenario? Wait, why would you be like, hey, can I have a cinnamon donut with cinnamon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they going to give you like extra cinnamon? What if extra you get, cinnamon, that's all right. Can I get a ham and pineapple pizza without the ham? Yeah. 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 Or can I get a ham and pineapple pizza with pineapple? Yeah. You don't say you it. Don't say I think it's a penalty either way. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Whatever it is, I'll just play it on for Lockie. You're going to play sake. it on? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say penalty. Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Lockie's Lockie. rolled us. Yeah, Lockie's rolled us. <laughs> All right. Next one. This is not a play on a penalty, but he rattled me. At Thomas underscore David underscore Hughes. 
Would you rather support the Tigers for 1 million views per video or stay loyal to the Rabbits and Cowboys? That's Tommy Poppins. Shout out to Tommy uh, Poppins, yes. Old double live streamer with us. Oh, there you go. Um, He's a massive Tiger no, fan. No, no, not penalty. We don't sell out for views. There's no way. It's That's more a lot, of this Mick, or that. That's a lot of views though. <sighs> One million. Per video. But then do you really Wait. want to go for Tigers? How consistently are we hitting a million views Every per video? Every video. Every single video until yeah. we stop. Yeah. yeah, but like, would you just would you stop supporting South for the Tigers for a bit of money? Right, it's not a bit if you're getting yeah, a middle every time. It's, I'd have to speak to my accountant, but ooh, at the moment, yeah. for for the sake of the law and everything, I'm going to say no. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, we're taking that meal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next one at Hugo from TikTok. Shout out Hugo. Wearing the same clothes two days in a row. Ooh, I, I reckon think- if it's jammies, fine, play on. Jamie's a pro with them six days. Yeah, I reckon yeah. I wear them pro every day. But yeah, like, no, nah, clothes two days in a row. Yeah, I would. I would wear them. Yeah. But like not – you wouldn't sleep in them and then wake up in them. No, nah, no. Nah. Go again. I've done it. Like it I'm depends, definitely guilty. Though. Like if you've had like a long day and you're wearing those clothes, I don't think you wear it again. Like would you day. wear your work clothes again? Like what, what's your work rotation? Some, sometimes I wear the pants oh. again. I wear yeah, the pants again. The pants are fine. If I don't get any fucking food on, on it. Or anything, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, then the, I'll, the I'll shirt one day. Shirt, no, nah, oh, one stinks day. too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweat too much and then yeah. you get stuff on it. Yeah. Now nah, play on. Play on. Yeah. It depends on the situation. But it does, yeah. I'm going to play it on because I've done it. Yeah. Don't want to penalise myself. <laughs> All right, last one for this week. At Caden Corey, not having tomato sauce on a meat pie. Penalty. I think it has to be tomato. It has to be tomato? Yeah, Can meat not pie. not barbecue? Meat pie, tomato. Nah, barbecue with bacon egg rolls. I'm going to say... Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say play on because there's different types of pies, like non Natinas pies. Yeah. Shout out to them. All right, what about if you having an OG meat an pie? OG beef pie. meat pie. Boy, New Zealand had the best bakeries for pies. Yeah. And some of them were so good you didn't need sauce. sauce. Yeah. Ooh. I so the question out. was not having tomato sauce. So you say, okay, I, no sauce. I, I, I'm, I'm saying you don't need a sauce every time. Okay. Those shit ones at the footy definitely need sauce. Yeah. <laughs> but if you had to have a sauce? I'd rather sauce than no sauce, but I'm yeah. saying that you can. Uh, would you rather no sauce or barbecue? Oh. Barbecue I just sauce on a pie. Nah, rogue, I'd, I'd go no sauce. No Barbecue's sauce? a bit shit on a pie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I reckon that's rogue. So I'm gonna say penalty because I don't like it without sauce. It's too dry yeah. and it needs to be tomato. What did you yeah. used to do with meat pies? You'd be sick. Oh, when I was when I was little, I hated the meat in it. It just grossed me out. So I used to get a spoon and pull the meat out <laughs> and eat the pastry with sauce. And then I'd eat the meat. <laughs> and then Mick would come with his fucking other spoon and start eating the meat off my that's plate. So that's fucking fatter right. than him back yeah. then. And that's now it's tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time. Uh, Cast calls. Ages is is our curator. So you've gone through them. You've been the moderator. Jim and I will react with you as well. All Um, right, boys, get your headphones. So look, please be nice if this doesn't sound good because it's a test. It's a test run. If we like it, we'll continue it. So we'll put on our headphones now. Shout out to our audio technica. Shout out. Shout out. Hopefully they work. If you guys like it, we'll do it every week. We might even do it as a own podcast. Maybe. We'll see how good it is. Okay, let's start. Let's start with this one. All right, so this one from BKR Sport. Go give him a follow on all socials. He's a massive Titans fan, so let's hear what Yanni has to say. Probably some Titans dribble. You want to know what the worst thing, the most cast thing on the planet is? Not being on the Titans bandwagon (laughs) for 2024. How silly could one be to not get the hairstyle of the infamous Desi Hasler? Now, that would be just simply... Absurd. Best that would be simply league. absurd. If you don't know that Tino is going to absolutely destroy every single team on the planet, <laughs> I don't know how to help you anymore. When AJ Brimson AJ. is scoring a million tries, when Tanner Boy doesn't miss, I don't know how to help you because it's just as simple as the Titans are winning 2024. And when we go on a 10-year spree, <laughs> Ten and years, we become better than Penrith, God help everyone. God help everyone. That would be cast to not be on the Titans bandwagon 2024. Thanks for listening to the BKR Sport Radio Show. Fuck. Shout out BKR. There's BKR, a, he there's sold a lot me. To, there's a lot to dissect there. <laughs> there's a lot there. He did there's sell me. a lot to me. digest. Yeah. You know, if Desi's fucking got the boy firing and his hair's flowing, yeah. Tino's hair's mullet's flowing, and you're not on him, you look silly. And He's Brimo, right. Brimo's scoring 1,000 tries a week, apparently. 1,000 off the bench, 14, yeah. utility. Yep. Tanner Boyd's on. Tanner Boyd doesn't miss goals. Ten years in a row. Well, it's a stretch. They've got to make the eight first. They do. 
They so got to play finals footy first. Yeah, I think one step at a time. Yeah. Um, okay, that was a pretty cast start. That that was a cast call. <laughs> that was. So he fucking definitely fitted the criteria. All right. All right, let's go next one. Let's ramp this up a bit. All right, this one is for a manual. Okay, let's see what Manny's got to say. Yeah, so it was it was just a nice Sunday. We play golf every Sunday with the boys, right? The four of us. We go explore different courses. Anyway, this week we're at we're at East Lakes, and my mate's he's, he's a serial cheater. Like if he gets that inch, extra inch on the putting green, he'll take it when no one's watching. Like Jimmy. Anyway, so we're on the sixteenth hole. We play twenty five bucks a hole, and um, <laughs> he um we saw his ball splash in the water, right? And next thing you know, he's we when we weren't watching, he must have done a shift. He's just dropped off fresh Pro V one out of his pocket. <laughs> And we just knew, <laughs> we just knew that it wasn't that it wasn't his ball. That's so he do. hasn't confessed to this day, but we all know <laughs> what really happened that day. So um, Ben, if you're listening, um, if you want to confess now, please do it because I don't want to play with any more cheaters at golf, man. <laughs> ben actually got rolled. He got thrown on the Benno. bus. <laughs> Benno, fucking tell us right now, did you do it or not? You ben did cheat. it, I reckon. He's that's, got a history yeah. of it. That's something yeah. out of fucking ages. Ben ages book, 100%. Nah, you've done it as well. <laughs> when the fuck have I done that? Well, we let Mick do it because he can't play. Yeah, yeah that's I'm true. so bad at golf. But I reckon Jimmy does dodgy. So he'll, oh, fuck he'll off. be like, oh, I don't know where my ball is, but I knew I it landed here and ball. he would drop one. I always hit in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. Jim chops him. Oh, Jim loves the bush. All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one's from Tinder Lord. This one will be interesting. Tinder Lord. Tinder, Tinder Lord. Lord. So he reckons he's like the goat of Tinder or something. Okay. All right, let's see what he's got this for should us. Be good. Tinder Lord, take it away. Hey, guys. It's the Tinder Lord here. <laughs> and I heard you guys need some help. So I've got a couple pickup lines that I'm going to provide. The first one. Here we go. I'm a certified meteorologist. And girl, you can expect a couple inches tonight. <laughs> Good luck, fellas. <laughs> Is that the <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, boys out there, if you're single, try that one right now. Tinder Lord. That Tinder is fu- Lord. It's foolproof. Yeah. It's foolproof. Fuck, he sounds awfully familiar, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. It's oh. age. Age is burner. <laughs> it's actually me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, my God. Yeah. Try that one. Let us know if it works. <laughs> I doubt it. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Uh, we got two more. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one's from Schmeagle. Schmeagle. So if you guys have seen Lord of the Rings. Of oh, Hobbit Town. Hobbit Town. You were there, Mick. Is so this Schmeagle himself? This is actually from like Lord of the Rings movie. Okay. Wow. Like, it's actually Schmeagle. Oh, he's playing a scene from the movie? Mate. Okay. It's him. Oh, I don't right. know. It's like the actual character. Oh, like Gollum. Yeah. It's Gollum. Okay. So let's see what Gollum's got to say for us. Okay. Schmeagle, go. <laughs> Hello, it's Schmeagle here. I'm desperate to hear this today. It's Pozo Baby's ass! <laughs> Smeagol's gonna go to the pub and get a nice big fish to eat. No stinky, fatty potatoes, though, just fish! And then Smeagol's gonna take the bunny out, go to the perches, and have a slap! <laughs> slap him! Slap him up! No, <laughs> baby, get the fish trap! <sighs> Where's the gold? <laughs> Where's the gold? <laughs> oh my god! So he, he actually I, does that perfectly. Yeah, it's so good. All Fucking I got from Smeagol. that is Smeagol's going to the pub on payday, having a fish. I just heard payday. <laughs> That's all I heard. It actually got me. Wait, right. who doesn't love payday though? He's gonna get yeah. a big fish. Get a big fish and have a slap. <laughs> oh, on, cool. so that is so cast. See, this is what we want to hear. All right, we'll end with one more. This one's from the Ruffy Whisperer. Let's see what he's got. The Hopefully Ruffy a Ruffy Whisperer. tip. Maybe a Ruffy Tips. tip. Let's go. Here we go. Hello, boys. Ruffy Whisperer here. For those mud punters out there betting on horses below twenty fucking dollars, you ain't got any fucking idea. Fuck the phase. Fucking a Ruffy makes you feel all oh, warm and musky. <laughs> Reckon a roughy makes you warm and mushy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love yeah. a fave though. 
Oh, yeah, that's very good. Well, Melbourne Cup Day, twenty bucks to one. You know oh what? I enjoyed God. that. I enjoyed that a that lot. That was good. Do we want one good. more? Or are we happy with? Is that? there another one? Well, I can get one more for you boys. Have you? Oh, have okay. you? Have you moderated oh, it? Oh, I've moderated. Don't you All worry. Right. We'll go one All more. Right, we'll do one more. One more. Why not? Look, it's the end of the episode anyway. <laughs> Actually, I got two more for you. How about that? One's a quick one. All right, done. All right, this one's from Best Sport 2.0. Give them a follow on all socials as well. Here we go. Hey, guys. It's Best Sport 2.0. When I was 15, I went to Roosters training, and I met Sonny Bill Williams, and I asked him for a photo after working up the courage, and he rolled his eyes at me and told me to hurry up and get it over with. <laughs> How do you deal with a celebrity getting mad at you for asking for a photo? Thanks, guys. <laughs> He got rolled by SPW. Man. That's so bad. Well, I've had a different encounter with him. I've actually asked him on the street for a photo and he was, he was sweet Bill? about it. Yeah, SPW. Yeah, I asked him. It was day after Origin. I'm like, what do you think of the game? He's like, oh, yeah, it was a close game, eh? And I'm like, can I get a photo? He's like, yeah, sweet. So a few different sides of the story there. <laughs> the worst pro rejection I've ever had from a celebrity was John Cena at the airport. That one broke me. Is it because you couldn't see him? You, well, you didn't see him? No, like I genuinely saw John Cena. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why it's not possible. <laughs> no, because when I say like this, everyone says, oh, you didn't see John Cena. I'm like, no, like I literally didn't. He's like... Oh, you can see me after I check in. No way. And was, I was going on the way to school. It's Fiji Airlines. He was going to America. Oh. Missed opportunity. That is so far. Okay, we're going to end with one from our next guest, apparently. Hainsey. 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 Let's see Come what on, he Hainsey. says. G'day, boys. It's Hainsey here. How's things? Fuck South. Oi. Oi. Um, first of all, South, a cast. We all know that. Fuck you, Hainsey. 2012, <laughs> really, they were. That's and weird. Cowboys. Also, the fuck? I'll tell you one thing that's cast. I'll tell you a cast story is the NRL bingo is completely rigged oh, and cast. Every it's time rigged. I uh, <laughs> attempt of completing the NRL bingo, it's cast. I feel you. Um, even with your presence it's so hard. On, on Grand Final Day, it's still cast. So that's my cast story. Still waiting for my podcast debut, boys. Still Oy. waiting. It's Fuck. coming soon. It's coming June. soon. Footy Up season, Hainsey. It's off season now. Stay we all need to tuned. relax. We're going to get Hainsey on next. Flying Hainsey, down from Brizzy. Hainsey honestly loves NRL bingo. I wouldn't be surprised if he spent at least three hours plus yeah, a per day. Per day, I reckon. Per day. Yeah. Like, There's so I, many people I've, I've spent it. four hours a day. I haven't even got it yet. I've at least done it 150 times. <laughs> I've never got fucking close. I think I got close yesterday. I got two left. Really? Oh, mate, it's sickening. Go it's try it on TikTok if you guys haven't used it At the it Cast yet. Patrol podcast. Yeah, and if you hit it, tag us in it because it's impossible. Mm. But yeah, that was pretty good, that segment. Oh, that's not oh, too bad. Calls. So yes, we're going to drop in the episode description your the link to SpeakPipe so you can leave your cast calls. Make them funny, enjoyable, entertaining. Yeah. Um, and make we'll, them fucking yeah, cast. Make them cast as possible. We'll play them next week's, on next week's show. Yeah. Only the best ones, though. The best ones. So you make know? them good. And yeah, so if you can't be bothered, just click the link. It's always in our link tree. You click speak pipe link mm. and then click record and then just send it away with and the name. You can do as many as possible. Obviously, you don't have to spam us 300 a day. Yeah. But you know what? Fuck it. If you're out with your mates and you want to abuse the cast patrol yeah. and you're pissed up, fucking do or it. Or there's yeah. a mad story that happens on the pierce and you're like, fuck, I've got to tell someone. Tell the cast patrol boys and we'll fucking tell us. Because Age will probably delete it anyway. So yeah. it's at good least, for entertainment. At least we will have a laugh. Yeah. You know? <laughs> So uh, I think that's about to do us, boys. Well, good catching up with you. And yeah. let's go edit this fucking podcast. Let's do it. See you guys yeah. next week. See Ciao. You guys. Bye. Bye.